Okay, so the US Open draw has just been released and the men's draw has come out and there are some really sketchy matchups for some, some big names, but then there's also some easier matchups from others. Uh, let's go to the players who are not playing though, because there's only a short withdrawal list at the last slam of the year. Okay, so the players that are pulled out of this year's US Open, only two names at this stage. One, obviously Rafa Nadal electing not to play and Cam Norrie also pulling out of this one due to injury. But let's go look at the players that are playing because this is a very, very stacked list. Okay, 32 seeds in this one. No one gets a free pass in this tournament. No buys in the first round. Yannick Sinner, number one seed. He gets McDonald in the first round. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or Mickelson in the second round. And then you've got a qualifier taking on Vavrinka. Winner of that will take on either O'Connell or the number 26 seed, Jarry, in the second round. Then you've got Feast, 24th seed, taking on Tian. Winner of that will take on either Munar or a qualifier in the second round. Uh, then you've got Purcell taking on Vukic. Winner of that will take on either Sonigo or 14 seed, Paul, in the second round. I gotta be honest, I, I think Sinner's draw is okay. I wouldn't be that I mean after winning Cincinnati, I think Sinner's Sinner's gotta like that draw. That could it could have been worse. Could have been worse. But uh you gotta watch out for Sinner in this section, obviously. You gotta watch out for Paul. Has uh, has done well here in the past and has done well in ha hard courts in the past. I uh, go watch over Jerry, but Jerry's not been in good form lately. So I, I don't think Jerry's as big of a threat as maybe people think he is. And also Feast, gotta watch out for him as well. And I'd be watching out for Varenka. Obviously, Stan the Man got a wild card. Uh, won this tournament, has had some big wins over Djokovic at this tournament. Next section of the draw, you've got the number 11 seed, Tsitsipas, taking on Kokonakis. Winner of that will take on either Borges or a Correa in the second round. Then you've got Schoolgate taking on Daniel. Winner of that will take on either Menzik, the number 19 seed, Oj Eliassim in the second round. Then you've got number 31 seed, Kabali taking on Duckworth. Winner of uh, that match will take on either Bergs or Kotov in the second round. Then you've got Marajan taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Lajevic, number 5 seed, Medvedev in the second round. I feel like all the seeds in this section have terrible first rounds. All of them could lose in the first round. I mean, based on their form, both City Pass and Medvedev have been terrible lately. And they're both gonna play awkward first rounds. They might, I mean, we might have some carnage in this section, but obviously you gotta watch over Medvedev, made the final here last year, beat Alcrez along the way. Gotta watch over City Pass, never really done well in uh, at the US Open. Uh, then you gotta watch over FAA, probably the most informed player in this section. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Alcaraz, number three seed, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that match will take on either Shapovalov or Van Zandtrup in the second round. Shapo, Alcaraz, second round. Then you got Diaz Acosta taking on Gaston. Winner of that will take on either Zhong or Draper, the number 25 seed in the second round. Then you've got Tabillo, 22nd seed, taking on Goffarm. Winner of that will take on either Chorich or Manorino in the second round. Then you've got Fanini taking on Mahatch. Winner of that match will take on either Mute or the number 16 seed quarter in the second round. Alcaraz's draw, if he plays those seeds, Draper could be awkward third round. Quarter can be awkward fourth round. Alcaraz's draw just feels really weird. But you got to watch out for Alcaraz, obviously, in this section. You've got to watch out for quarter as well. He did win Washington uh, a couple of weeks ago. Also, Draper. Got to watch out for him. He did beat Elkris in Queens Club not too long ago. And also, Tabillo being good on all services, but mainly uh, he has uh, done well on hard courts. This is where we are playing. But also, watch out for Chapeau. It does light it up and could light it up. Then you've got next section, Demonor taking on Giron, number 10 seed Demonor. First time since uh, withdrawing from the uh, from Wimbledon. He's playing singles. Winner of that match will take on a qualifier because we've got two qualies going at it. Then you've got Navona taking on Altmail. Winner of that will take on either Evans, number 23 seed Hashinov in the second round. I don't know why, but that feels like five sets to me, that one. Uh, then you've got the 30th seed, Inaldi, taking on Schweider. Winner of that will take on either Forbes or Safiulin in the second round. Then you've got Lestian taking on Thompson. Winner of that match will take on either a qualifier or the seven seed Hercatch in the second round. This kind of feels like the injured section. You've got you know, Hercatch and Demonor who have both been injured. Hashinov, who's had his injury problems over the time. Analdi might be the healthiest player in this section uh, with the seeds. You still got to watch over her catch. You got to watch over Demonor uh, and also Hashinov. All uh, can light it up. I mean, they've all made quarterfinals of Slam, so you got to give him that. Uh, also, watch out for Analdi. He might be the one who actually gets through this this section. He, you know, he might be the one. He's been pretty good this year as well. He, of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sinner section in the semis. So we could be getting Sinner taking on Alcaraz. Maybe you want to go with Sinner taking on uh, Hercatch if Hercatch's knee comes good and he can somehow beat Alcaraz. Maybe Sinner Demonor if Demonor can get on a run. But again, he's, you know, the hip, how bad is that? Maybe Sinner versus Quarter if you want to base it on something a little bit different. But if you don't think Sinner's going to get there, you maybe think Alcaraz. Maybe Alcaraz versus Medvedev. I mean, that was last year's semi final. It's pretty epic. Maybe even uh, Alcaraz versus City Pass. Uh, maybe even, you know, Alcaraz versus Paul which has always been a banger. All right, bottom up of the draw, we've got the number eight seed, Rude. He will take on a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Monfils 
or another qualifier in that section. So Monfils versus Rude second round. A lot of qualities in this section. You've got a qualifier versus Viana. Winner of that will take on either uh, Song or the number 27 seed Bublik in the second round. Then you've got Ombert, the 17 seed, taking on Montero. Winner of that will take on either Stricker or Comisania in the second round. Then you've got Ramos Vanola taking on Berrettini. Winner of that match will take on either Ugo Carabella or the number 12 seed Fritz in the second round. This is open. This feels open, this section. The top players that are there are not in form. Uh, and there are a couple of awkward unseated players. Uh, you've got to watch out for Rude. You've got to watch out for Fritz. You've got to watch out for Ampere. Uh, I would also watch out for Bublik, even though he hasn't been great lately. Still got to watch out for him. Can can be dangerous. Unseated players are where it's at, though. You've got to watch out for Monfils. Just beat Elkros last week. And also Berrettini. Very good chance that those two could make a, a run here. They could even play each other. Uh, next section of the draw, you've got number 15 seed Bruna taking on Nakashima. Winner of that will take on either Kazo or Kurnia Busta in the second round. Then you've got Nishioka taking on Kichmenovic. Winner of that will take on either Opelka, the number 18 seed Musetti in the first in the second round. Uh, then you've got the number 29 seed Sarundalo taking on Ovna. Winner of that will take on either Piracat or Echeverri in the second round. Then you've got Muller taking on Walton. Winner of that will take on either Rusevori and the number four seed Zverev in the second round. I don't know. I, I think Zverev's draw is not... It, it's awkward. Yeah, you know, Rusevori could be awkward and, you know, Runa obviously there and... You know, Musetti and Opelka, and, you know, there are some awkward players, but I don't know. I, I think Sasha's definitely got an opportunity to make the semis, at least. But you got to watch out for Zverev in this section. you got to watch out for Runa. Also got to watch out for Musetti. Has been in good form uh, over the last couple of months on all surfaces. Uh, and also Sarindolo, you know, can light on fire, can play on hard courts, not just a clay quarter. But also watch out for Opelka. I feel like he's very awkward. And also Carino Busta. Carino Busta could be very, very good. He made a semi-final here in 2020. And the bottom quarter of the draw, we've got number six seed Rublev taking on Vilch. Winner of that will take on either Eubanks or Rindanish in the second round. Then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on either Fuchovic or the number 32 seed Lehechka in the second round. Then you've got Baez, the 21 seed, taking on Dadiri. Winner of that will take on either Nagel or Grigsbor in the second round. Then you've got Hitchikata taking on Fakina. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier well, number nine seed Dimitrov in the second round. Look, there are. I reckon this is a very interesting section. I reckon there could be really good third round matches potentially here. Very awkward for Rublev. He's ever going to make it past uh, the quarterfinals. I don't think this is going to be the tournament. But you got to watch over Rublev. You got to watch over Dimitrov. Got to watch over Lehechka. Very, very good in his comeback last week. Uh, I'll also be watching out for Baez. You know, not not known for Clay, uh, his hard court tennis. But yeah, this, this section's interesting. I, I don't know if the unseeded players are super dangerous compared to the seeds. Then the bottom half of the draw, the bottom section of the, uh, the bottom half of the bottom section. You've got number 13 seed, Sheldon taking on Dominic Team first round. Crazy first round. Winner of that match will take on either Nardi or Batista Ragu in the second round. Then you've got Shevchenko taking on Kopfa. Winner of that will take on either uh, Kovacevic or the number 20 seed, Tiafo in the second round. Then you've got Popper in the 28th seed taking on Quan. Winner of that will take on either Martinez or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Jarrett taking on Struff. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier. The number two seed, Novak Djokovic, in the second round. I think Djokovic's draw is a little awkward. I, again, uh, awkward is the word. I don't think it's as tough as, um, definitely not as tough as Elkris. Elkris definitely has a tougher draw. Is it tougher than Sinner's draw? Probably. I mean, Popperin could be awkward. Uh, Sheldon, I mean, and Tiafo are going to bring the crowd. So, I mean, Djokovic playing in front of the new, playing the, the crowd is going to be a massive factor if he plays one of those guys. But uh, you got to watch out for Djokovic, of course. you got to watch out for Popperin as well. Just won in Canada. you got to watch out for Tiafo. Just made the final in Cincy. I mean, a lot of players in form here. And then, of course, Shelton, who made the semi seed last year and, of course, played Djokovic in that semi final. Uh, and then also, you got to watch out for Dominic Team, you know, last Grand Slam tournament for him. So, uh, we'll have to be uh, keeping an eye on that. This section of the draw will take on in the semi finals the Zverev section. So, we could be getting Djokovic versus Zverev in the semi finals, which would be an absolute fire matchup. Maybe you want to go with Djokovic versus Runa. Maybe you want to go with Djokovic versus Fritz. If you think Fritz is going to make a run at home, maybe you don't think Djokovic is going to make it, which is, you know, maybe understandable. Maybe you want to go with Zverev taking on Rublev in the semifinals. Maybe Zverev taking on Dimitrov in the possible semifinals. Maybe Zverev taking on Tiafo. Or maybe Zverev versus Shelton. Both of the Americans could, you know, could perform here. There's a draw for the US Open for the men's side. Let me know who's going to win the US Open. I, don't, I feel like Sinner's draw is manageable, but also he's in form. He just won, he just won in Cincy. Uh, we all know what just happened with Sinner as well. Is that going to be a burden? Is that going to be uh, a weight lift off his shoulders? Maybe. You know, maybe Sinner reacts to that situation and and is is lighter because of it because it's over. You know, and, and everything's behind him. But um, or maybe you want to go with Djokovic because he doesn't want to slam. He's probably really hungry. I don't know when the last time a goat didn't win a slam. 
in a year. That, that it would be a first if that was to happen. Maybe Alcaraz gets through the nightmare draw if you want to go with him. But uh, man, it's a it's an interesting draw for the men's side, and it's all going to kick off on Monday.